You're, uh, you're running away. How did you guess? <laughs> Professor Marvel never guesses. He knows. <laughs> now, why are you running away? Welcome to a week in my life. I don't like the way I just said that. Um, it's currently like 6.30 in the morning. 6.47, turns out I'm running a little late. I don't know why, but sometimes randomly when I wake up in the mornings, I'll have like weird bursts of energy. And like right now I have some, which is nice. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready right now. And yeah, this is the beginning of upcoming week and I'm gonna be vlogging it all. So get excited to come along. Look like little Albie Einstein right now. It's great. I love it. Hi guys, so um, I'm actually, it's like 9, 10 in the morning and we finished book work in class for the day and then she was my instructor was like okay now get out your mannequin hands we're gonna start like our acrylic or whatever we're working on and i was like i left my mannequin hands at home so i left this morning in such a rush that i forgot to bring them because i have to keep them separately outside of my like nail kit or else the nails will pop off which is kind of like frustrating but it's not that big of a deal but i totally forgot them this morning so i live pretty close to my campus i'm just running home i'm grabbing the hands grabbing the hands real fast. Literally those cre those hands, they low-key look so creepy because I'll get out of my car and I'll just be like holding two human-like hands and kids will be staring at me, and neighbors will be screaming. It's a little dramatic. Yeah, I'm just running home to grab those. It's freezing. <laughs> you just do that, you just breathe out and then you stop shivering. <sighs> Works every time. Okay, bye. Deuces. Ew. <laughs> Hi, I just forgot my mannequin hand, so I had to run home. I love you, bye. Doga. Okay, bye. Bye hot dog thing, thing one and thing two. I did grab some blackberries for the road because these sound mighty delicious right now. Choose mom for the money. literally 10 minutes and they're so bad hi guys so i just got out of school and it is super rainy weather right now and i really like it actually school is good it went by pretty fast honestly some days i feel like it's so long and i'm staring at the clock the entire day and then some days it's like oh it's two already and so that's how it was today okay guys so i actually stopped at ulta because i need to run in here and grab setting powder and mascara oh I love it when I have a pimple forming on the forehead. Sorry, sometimes when I talk, I feel like I'm ADD because I'm all over the place. I, I don't have ADD, but it's like when I turn on the vlog camera, so many thoughts are like trying to fight for my words. First off, when I was doing my makeup this morning, I like was realizing that I had no setting powder and that my mascara was pretty dry. So I was gonna go ahead and buy some here. And then on top of that, the other thing I was gonna say is like, I haven't had any new breakouts on my skin the past like two weeks, which is a huge deal for me because usually my skin's always, there's always an issue. And it's because like the thing I changed was I stopped picking out my skin. I legit threw away my mirror. Like that vanity mirror that I have on my desk, I legit threw it away because I would always flip it over to like the zoom side and then pick up my skin and it was like such a bad habit and so the past few weeks every single time i've gone to pick up my skin since i don't have the mirror like i just don't pick up my skin so i feel like my skin has actually had like time to heal and to process and so anything that's like a blemish that i have it's like it's actually like a blemish and it's not because i picked at it and caused it to be an issue so um thank you for listening to my speech on my blemishes but i'm gonna go ahead and run into ulta and grab those products and then i think i'm gonna be going tie shopping with some of my favorite people outside my family so that'll be fun i'll keep you guys updated hi guys so i'm now home i was just gonna quickly show you the products i got from ulta i just got two items but it's i got two items it's four. Oh, the battery's dying sick i'm gonna speak rapidly fast. I was gonna buy this moisturizer from Dr. Jart, but then they don't sell Dr. Jart or Ulta, so I was just gonna hold off on that. Then I got the Better Than Sex mascara. Can't believe I just said that. And then I got the La Mercier um, translucent setting powder. So these are some of my two favorites. Like I 
I feel like I always have these in my makeup routine. Like I never really replace these because I just love them so much. So I'm gonna go and eat a after school snack and change out the battery for this camera. Marla, right, come here and look at this. I bought fresh lard to bake the pie crust. Mom straight up has been raving about lard for the past like four days. Hi. Ballerina Farms. Are you giving me the side eye? Did Ballerina Farms? He looks like the pizza? dragon from the never ending story. Guys, he used to be so cute when he did this, and now he's all skinny mini. That plaque just looks so gaudy, and I don't know where to hang it. Not complaining, so grateful. So grateful for every single one of you guys, but I, I don't know, I just like it's such an odd, like, decoration. I didn't really participate in many things growing up, so I don't have, like, trophies, so I don't, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, this is, I just thought I would show, like, my outfit of the day. This is what I normally wear to nail tech school because they have us wear not uniforms, but like we do have a dress code and it's black pants every single day of the week except for Fridays or Saturdays. We can choose one of the days. And then we have to wear this black smock, which straight up looks like a trash bag just with buttons in the front. I normally wear my like lanyard that has my name on it and my picture ID. So anyway, this is what I normally wear. I feel like I always look emo because I'm always wearing so much black and I have like my black jacket, but I like to switch up with some color like underneath, but yeah, so there's the outfit of the day. Okay guys, I am at a stoplight, but I am currently on my way to visit um, Jen and Elisha. So that's, I thought I would like properly introduce them right now, probably when it's not that crazy. But um, so I both know Jen and Elisha and Jen and Elisha are siblings. And if you've watched my mom's vlog, you've probably seen Elisha before, but he's living on his mission in one week from Wednesday and today's Tuesday. So one week from tomorrow, he's living on his mission. And so me, him and Jen are all gonna go tie shopping and we're gonna get them all dolled up. And I've never had Elisha on camera before, but Jen has been in, she was in my last week in my life video cause she makes music and she's a singer. So I had gone to the recording studio with her and filmed some of that. But anyway, so I just thought I'd properly introduce them right now and the light is green, so I'm gonna go. This uh -huh. is Alex. And it's like good quality. Yeah. And it's really yeah. easy to carry, but usually, that your camera? Camera? Yeah, do you want to try? Say hi. Hi. Well, oh, perfect. And then you say hi. Say hi. 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 How does, does this go in? How do you take a picture? Okay, this is how you take a picture. I'll show you. You can press it. This is Alex. This is Alex. He's, um, he's a French chef. He likes to make bagels and he likes to... Uh, Yes, this is for dinner. Play with the, his <laughs> fans. His fans. Uh -huh. Alex is going to be starting a channel soon. You might want to subscribe. <gasps> hi. Say hi, Emery. Hi. We'll just leave it there because you have this thing. This one piece of dry lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's dinner's ready. Okay, it's actually like a while later, but I haven't been vlogging much because I've been just with Elisha's family like the entire day and we've just been playing with his nephews and nieces and hanging out with Alex and the family and so it's just like, I haven't brought the camera much, but luckily this is a week of my life so it's not like you have to see everything in my day. Elisha's running in to go grab something, but I, but we are now here at the mall because we are gonna go tie shopping for him. The man can't do it alone, wants me to be there. I feel honored, just kidding. He, I, Loki invited myself. Oh, he's coming. Okay, bye. <laughs> I am running so late. I'm gonna leave now, so here's the outfit of the day. Got my new balance tennis shoes. I got a blue sweater and I showered last night, so my hair kind of dried all funky and weird. So um, I put it up in clippy half up. So time to go to school. Another day in the life. It's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I will see you chumps later. Hi guys, so it's currently lunchtime and I just finished eating and we're still in class. I got an acrylic set done on me and now it's my turn to do it. So I'm gonna go do my classmates' nails for the first time. Ooh. I see. It's like a lot later. It is now 3.42. I normally get out of school at two o'clock, but I stayed after because I had to finish a acrylic manicure. It was my first time doing it and um, I did it on one of my classmates and she was super nice and really patient, but like I could tell I'm like this is not good, but I don't expect to be good. It's my first time doing acrylic, but like perfect practice makes perfect, so. Friendly reminder that I have a million subscribers, a million of you guys. 
have clicked subscribe at one point. I, don't know. I am going to the museum and out to dinner. This is gonna leave it at that. Um, here's the outfit of the night. My room. Don't look at it. Don't know. My mom. It's messy. Press have to pay respects for when my mom finds out it's messy. Then I get a whooping. Here is my outfit those tonight. Um, this top is Evelyn's and I stole it from her closet. I really like this color on me. I feel like it makes it, it works well with my complexion. So I think this is from Verge Girl. And then for my pants, these are from Rolla's jeans. I wear these like all the time. I love them so much. I love the way they fit. And then I have my pink CDG Converse and then my earrings. They're like crescent moons. And then in the middle, they have a little star that dangles. There is the outfit of the night. Bye. Good day. Okay, so this is what I normally eat for lunch during school. It's these organic mandras lentils, probably saying that wrong, but they're vegan, so they don't make my stomach hurt. And then normally like a cliff bar or some protein bar and it fills me up and I love it. So that's what I normally eat for lunch. Safety goggles on. So instead of eating my usual lunch for today, I'm actually headed home, which I'd never do. It's because um, for those of you that watched my Q&A video, you know that I mentioned how I'm working on a clothing line. Like I say that so casually, but like I'm screaming internally. It's the coolest thing ever and I'm so pumped for you guys to be able to finally see it and everything about it. But we've been working on it, Evelyn and I, and we got our first samples today in the mail. So Evelyn texted me and she's like, come home like right now and try these on. So, hi guys. Hi. 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 Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm now headed back to school and it went well. I It's like the first round of getting any clothing samples back and so there's a ton of adjustments, but like it's a start. And so we're super stoked, love the colors. It's gonna be a good time. Okay guys, I'm home and Evelyn made the Gigi Hadid pasta and I already had some of it for lunch, but I realized I never showed you guys. So this is what it looks like. It smells heavenly and it's like slightly spicy. So it's just amazing all around. Those are cute. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Okay guys, I look like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. I feel so like my fingers are just gonna fall off, but it's fine, it's whatever. But I'm going to do this cello lesson. It's online, it's just through Skype. Um, I didn't even practice that much this week, so hopefully she doesn't notice. I feel a pimple forming on my chin. Ah, it doesn't feel good right now. It does not feel very attractive. I just did this like acrylic set and it was tie-dye. I, I was just messing around with the gel polish. I think I'm going over to Elisha's house tonight for a family game night, which I'm super stoked for because... Okay, bye. This is enough talking, bye. Hi guys, currently we're talking about why the flip anyone even watches these videos. Like, why are you watching? Like, go do something. <laughs> Wow. I'm kidding. I always rude. have to convince her. I'm like, people no. are interested in your life. The thing is, because is, you don't think people are, but they are. Like, I don't, it's it's not that like I'm not confident myself. Like, I'm very confident. I just don't understand the appeal to like watch someone That's else's true, life. Because really? I don't really watch YouTube. This is why we're a good duo though, because like you'll film this stuff, but you don't but want to rewatch and edit no, it. There's I, no, no way it would make to YouTube, make it to YouTube. And so. How did we word it the other day? It was like, you were saying you would love to marry like another social media I feel like guru. in deep down, like that is what I love to do. And so. Because originally it was her idea to start the channel. And I was like 12 and I was like, who cares? Like, I don't know what's going on. This is fun. Yeah. And like, I've just always done, I so appreciate YouTube. I, you're but, good at it too. Like you're good at being in front of the camera. It's this weird combo where I didn't care to be on camera and you wanted to be she wanted to be like creative to be and edit videos and stuff and i wanted so. i wanted content to edit and like I'm and to this it. day that's still how it is i don't care to be on camera like if someone films me i don't care it's just interesting because i was on my way home the clips where i was filming like in the car and i was talking to you guys about like my day at null school i was like like who cares like who is listening to this but like it's you guys that care and like that is just so like mine baffling to me and I know I've joked about it before I think I even joked about it in this video like the my million subscriber plaque I'm like I don't know who's clicking the subscribe button like that many people are interested That's in seeing we my day-to-day -day life I was like Marla people are interested like 
I follow so many YouTubers. That just like hurts my brain to think though that like people are watching this right now and like are genuinely like invested in it. Because yeah. I don't do that online. Like I don't go on and like find people. I do. It's so odd to me that like I do YouTube but I don't like watch YouTube. It's like being like I, yeah, like I play sports but I don't watch sports. We've just all like, I do my part, you do your part, and like we click I'm not it, but I could have never done this. <laughs> See, you're great on camera, you're doing fine right now. Because I'm talking to you, but like, it was just me. Yeah. I just. Horrible. YouTube always baffles my mind, and I like to, like, what, this is our sixth year doing it, and it's still, I'm not like used to it. Like, it's, it still just baffles me that people watch these videos, but like, I'm so grateful for it. And another thing is too, is like, anytime we've gone to those meetups, like, I miss having meetups because. That was like so cool being able to connect with like mass amounts of people like through a video. I just wouldn't say that I necessarily am like a creative. Say it again. I'm more the creative side, but then I feel like you're creative too though. But I feel like but it's I not, don't think it's my like drive. a natural desire for you yeah. to be creative. It's not like I wanna actively right? like I don't wanna I can do it, but I don't wanna actively go do it. Like that would have yeah. been my first choice. My yeah. first choice would be like, oh I wanna go play the piano right now. Yeah. Not go create like my a cool first choice photo is shoot. like I wanna like create a cool intro or like yeah, I'm like, like create a cool concept or like like just slap a few textiles on there. Like, <laughs> it'll be fine. It's not a traditional job at all, and I would never want to discredit anyone that has like a nine to five job or they work construction or whatever it may be. But YouTube is work, mm -hmm. and a whole it's a whole different breed. Like it's just not like really this either. different. Anytime I've done like a school project, like they're the most mediocre. I mean, like I get an A just for completion. It's <laughs> my internship class at the end. They wanted us to make like a minute long video recapping like our internship experience, and I was like, Evelyn. And I'm like, listen, and so Evelyn like went oh, up for magic. For that video. Yeah, and, like Evelyn straight up like edited it. She put it on her little flare, and I was like, wow, you just made this so magical. And that's something like I remember being like, I could have ne like if I was being held at gunpoint, and they said make a cool video, I'd be like, she just take the wheel, like I would be gone. But then we all have our own strengths, because I'm not that funny, but she's really funny. And so oh, you're not that funny. Me being a video, it, not me being the, the TikTok video. I'll insert if I can. Sometimes they fuck. They get copyrighted. You're, There's you're, that one. Friend. If you don't know who the unfunny friend is it's then you're the you're yeah, like that's me but i just think everything's funny but then i love that me and you hyping each other i love that my favorite people to be around are ones that are like quick to laugh oh i'll be laughing and they'll be like that's not funny i guess it is she's gorgeous to me she's gorgeous to me i look so scary from so many Tweenies angles too. i have such a chameleon face did you watch the my 600 pound life with where tammy's boyfriend comes out and he's like straight up married and has six kids what yeah you guys, have you been watching? Okay, that's what I watch on YouTube. I watch weird random TLC clips and like ocean. But you're drawn to that, so I'm, you can't explain I'm it. drawn to the <laughs> thousand pound life. I can't explain it. No, I'm so invested in like Amy and Tammy in their life. Like I hope they're doing well. I hope Amy's baby thrives. They have a vlog channel. Yeah, I've seen it, girl. I've seen it all. I saw her when she casted her belly. I saw it. I think I'm gonna shut up. Okay, bye. I'm gonna change my shirt and my breath is stinky. I like how I have low key a bad chin, but I kind of like it. I feel like growing up, like I always wanted a very like tiny, cute bad nose, and like that's totally great too. Like, and that's amazing. All noses are amazing, but I feel like I've grown to this like appreciation of having like more character in my face, where it's like everything doesn't have to be symmetrical and like it doesn't have to be perfect. I feel like it looks like a lot more raw to not have like a Barbie face, and like if you have that face structure, like good on you. But I feel like I've really grown to like love my the things that I once like was insecure about. Like I've learned to love now, so that's on personal growth. Like it's okay to not have the same profile from my left as it is from the right and like that's just cool it's more to look at so well, that's almost here you said it would be slightly light disappointing okay hi guys hi guys how do you take a picture hi guys so we're at elisha's house elisha's house and this is cooper and he looks like a little mini harry styles and he's so cute and then who's this <sighs> Jimmy. I never Wait, got stay to still. Use Let us stay still. Oh, the stance is kind of scary. Wait, what are you guys playing? And can I take a picture of you guys? Ah. We're playing Duck Duck Goose. And my friend Bryn, who also played to BYU, just texted me saying she found out that she got in. And I was like, I'm not supposed to find out till the 15th. And it's, what's the date today? The 12th? 12th. So. Long story short, I am about to find out if I got into BYU or not, and my heart is pounding, and I feel like pooping my pants. I don't know you why I do this. either. Okay, so her password is I hate BYU 31. I like don't want to look. I'm so scared. I haven't been nervous about this at all. Oh, I didn't get in. It's okay. Look, 
Dang it. The admissions committee thoroughly reviews each individual submission, but with so many high caliber candidates, we cannot admit everyone who could be successful here. Well, up. It's not God's will for me to be there, and I didn't submit my ACT score, which is a little sketchy. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, it's optional. Happy Look, for you. you can always repeat another year of high school. And the first person she told was her friend Brinley. Not even Brindley. her mom. Oh, even I should probably mom. FaceTime my mom. Where is the thing? I did not get into BYU. What, what are we mom? making? Um, so this is a black bean um, brownie. Black bean uh, garbanzo toasted, bean brownie. Toasted with vegetable oil, um, which is solidi solidified with bacon grease. Um, mm. So that's the only part that's actually not vegan. I need you to pretend <laughs> this is your channel. I'm working on my new channel. Uh, it's called At the Dentist with Alex. Hey yo, we're the raspberry. I'm scared. Unsubscribe right now. Before you even do subscribe. <laughs> Don't join. <laughs> Don't join. Don't do it. This is Carson. And um, he's friends with Alex. And then this is Elisha. I've introduced him multiple times. And we weren't kidding when Alex, we said Alex was a chef. So what did you make tonight? Here we have, um, these are brownies. And, uh, yeah, these are um, the Betty Crocker brownie mix. No, no, this is Gear Deli. This is, and then Great Value. Yeah, ice, cream. ice cream. This <laughs> is the final product yeah. made by Mr. Walsh. Tell us. All right. All right. Inspired by a chef in New York City, Brooks <laughs> Healy of Superiority Burger. It's a griddled chocolate cake Brittle. with a hazelnut mousse made from a hazelnut praline. Hazel. Or we're saying French praline. Do you speak French, yes or no? Or is we it all of a French, facade? It is a little bit of a facade, but it's a little bit of a real at the same time. <laughs> you can put a little bit of uh, raspberries. Oh, uh, yeah. Raspberries, uh, zest du citron vert. Mm -hmm. Zest du citron vert. Popcorn sur le dessus. Et un, peu, un tout petit peu de fleur de sel. I, I will work. <laughs> hey guys, so I am back home and mom has the hiccups. So if you hear that in the background, that's what it is. Um, I just wanted to also like quickly recap. I didn't get, mom, are you okay? Something's trying to escape the throat. Um, I just wanted to like recap and say I didn't get into BYU and like my reaction. I don't know, I like watched it back like it. Oh, are you okay? It's a yes or no question. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not just saying this for a vlog. Like, I feel I so- I think you should stay. My mom just chose me for the, for the bachelorette. That's actually, that was my second option. It was either go to BYU or go to the bachelorette. So, <laughs> things worked out in my favor. They will bully me. I'm not even just saying this for the vlog, but I genuinely feel so content. I felt really content either way. Like, I was, I'm like, if I get in, great. If I don't, Elisha was like trying to help mom get rid of her hiccups and then she's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, but I made it work. Um, anyway, what I'm saying is like I'm so content with that answer. <laughs> Me trying to like be like inspirational well, and like help on. others that didn't get in. Finish. Come on. No control. Then leave. It. Then go. Then leave. Then go. I'm just saying for any other students, <laughs> can she leave? <laughs> For me, my mentality is like, God must have a different plan for me than BYU, so, or maybe I just wasn't smart enough to get in. It's like, it's a 50-50, but either way. And then another thing is too, even if you're not religious, like, and you didn't get into your dream college, that's not the final destination then. There's going to be more opportunities and there's gonna be different paths that you can take that you can be just as happy in. So, just cause it's gonna take time. Got this, we didn't get in. It's whatever. There's a lot of newness in this vlog, but I was never been introduced. I have a boyfriend! Yeah, this was a week of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I would love to film these more if you like seeing them. So, um, always here to please the viewers. And if you liked like how this vlog was longer, then let me know. I just love hearing feedback from you guys. I love creating like a little community in our comment section and just talking with you guys and hearing what you have to say. Tell me about if you got in your college or not. If you guys applied like to any colleges and you found out, let me know how that's going. Um, and like what you're coping if you didn't get in, like how you're handling that. If you did, like what are your plan majoring in? I wanna hear all about it. Um, thanks guys for watching once again and I will see you guys in my next vlog, video vlog or... Abba, adios, hasta luego, bye.